want, no where. Can I find anyone like you? You're the rock of my salvation. You're king of every nation. You're hope for tomorrow. You're my only, my only inspiration. Search the world over, through and through. Can't find nobody, no one like you. No one, no one, nowhere. For there is nobody, no one like you, Lord. No one, nowhere. For there is nobody, no one like you, Lord. No one, nowhere. No one like you. No one like you. I've searched the world over, through and through. Can't find no one, Lord, like you. You love me, you save me, you feel me, oh Lord, you heal me, you delivered me, yes Lord, you set me free, oh Lord, you gave me the victory, for you're the rock, my King. Thank you again for tuning in to Old Time Gospel with Sister Martha Hood and Marcus Hammonds, myself. We have been honored today, tonight, even in this entire session, and to our TV viewing audience, you've been honored by hearing Minister Kathy Jones. And I mean to tell you, she's not just a minister of music, but a woman of God, pastor's wife, somebody who's boldly declaring the word of God in song. And, and, and just by listening to you, I will say this to you once again. I know that a minute ago you were talking about it ain't all there, but the Bible says that when Saul had an evil spirit upon him, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He said, bring me somebody that can play on the harp and the organ. <laughs> somebody that can do what Jubel did, because Jubel, Old Testament, uh, Jubel, Jubilee. Mm-hmm. Well, music has a way of ministering. Mm-hmm. And there are some people I can reach through preaching. Mm-hmm. But there are way more people you can reach through music because it calms that person down and it mm-hmm. speaks peace in the spirit. So when I just heard you say, no one, mm-hmm. and then he's there, no matter where you are, he's there. He's there. It doesn't make no difference how far we run, right. where we hide, right. in the booth, in the back, in the corner, in the dark, mm-hmm. like Flip Wilson said many years ago, <laughs> he's still there. Amen. Yeah, and if you're, on, if you're in your lowest place of depression, he's there. Right there. Yeah, yes. like Elijah in the mountain. He was still there, and yes. he speaks in a still small voice. Yes. Sometimes it's those songs. So just being delighted that, that we've got you, a woman of God, that came in here and ministered to us, and then your beautiful husband, Pastor Ed. I mean, yes. y'all, y'all got a sweet spirit. And then, uh, <laughs> and now, how long you say y'all been married? Uh, uh, what you say? Did you say y'all been married? Three years? Uh, it's Four 30, years? Uh, 39. 30. <laughs> <laughs> Be 39. I know you're right. <laughs> so, 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 is it is that like that same relationship with Jesus? Every day with Jesus gets uh, sweeter than the day before. How <laughs> about that? Hallelujah. And, and, then, and then, what did you, what did you and him tell me about y'all's relationship? He that does what finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains favor of the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, now, see, <laughs> both of y'all, see, y'all are messing with me. See, to our audience, I want you to know that this is a dynamic couple. They're from Opelika, Alabama, but her singing is just marvelous, and it has ministered because, again, you know, when you know that there's nobody like Jesus, mm. and see, that's that 2 Corinthians 5.17. It mm-hmm. sounds like there's been a transformation in your life. Oh, yeah. Okay, can you tell us just a little bit about that change? Well, you know, we've... Um well, I have. You and him, because he uh-huh. told me okay. he told me he wasn't always saved. <laughs> no, we hadn't always been saved. Woo! But, you know, okay. uh, but God had a plan. And his plan is always perfect. Go ahead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We was high school sweethearted, and just came up through the years, and God changed us. You know, he, he touched our lives and, and, and turned us around. So, you know, we just give him all glory. So the, 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 that's part of the singing, too, right? Well, no, I've sang all my life, you know, but how you, you raise But I'm just saying that, that all that change, you you really have a relationship with him. Yes, yes, yes. I used to sing now and minister. Yeah. Uh, that, it's a difference. Isn't it? That's, okay, because, see, to me, uh, just telling the truth, the word minister means to serve mm-hmm. or a servant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you realize that it's not just me showing off my talent. Ah. But now me rendering up unto the Lord, yes. and then the Lord ministering through you yes. to somebody. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Now, I know this is just something I've already asked, but I'm going to ask it again. You wrote these songs. Yes. Was it for an Emmy? Was it for a Grammy? <laughs> uh, God just imparted me with them, and... and he you know, just gave it to you. Yeah, I'm never. In other words, he didn't give it to you to win no big accolades. No, he gave it to you to you through relationship. Yes. So yes. he still does that. Mm-hmm. So you from Opelika? Yes. So God came to Opelika. Yeah. And gave you a word. He's there. In Wherever Opelika. I am. He's Wherever, there. Okay, all right. So you carried a lot with you. <laughs> yes. How long you been in the church? I need to ask that question. How long I've been in the church? Mm-hmm. All my life. Thank you. Yeah, I was raised in the church. You, see, that's 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 what I was trying to get to. Uh-huh. And, you know, now I come from the old school. I okay. know they people say old school, new school. To me, it's only one school. But I come from the we come this far by faith, mm-hmm. leaning, leaning on the on Lord. Lord. Yes. Trusting in His holy mm-hmm. word. Uh, you know the other part. He mm-hmm. never fails us. Mm-hmm. And so your songs, to me, are contemporary, okay. which is good, because we're in a contemporary hour. Right. And we need somebody who's been through something to be able to tell us with a contemporary word, because what was good for mom and daddy was good for mom and daddy. Right. Okay, but to reach that, those that couldn't be reached, he had to come to Opelika, to wherever Kathy Jones was, mm-hmm. in her bedroom, in her study, in her car, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then give you something for us, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that. I, I, okay, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you can give us a little bit more description. But I just want to make sure that we and tell us how can we contact you? 
before I even go into words. I know it's on there, but I want you to tell okay. us. Okay. <laughs> cause you can, you know, you see how okay. I am. I talk, okay. but I want people to hear because you're here to minister, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't mind ministering. That's right. Hmm. That's right. How many yeah. CDs? Four. Four. Woo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have Busy. A <laughs> couple of singles and uh, two full CDs. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And and so, how do we contact you? Uh, you can call at three three four. Five two four two one five four, or you can email at uh, k jones six zero zero one at gmail dot com. Praise the Lord, mm -hmm. praise God. Mm -hmm. And one thing for sure, we're gonna have you back. I want to tell you that. Okay. Now that's that. Uh, we we that are in the studio felt the spirit. Oh. So it's more important. Uh, I, I'm a preacher, so I'm sorry that I'll, I'll just quote what I know, but. The Bible says, well, the spirit of the Lord is as liberty. Mm -hmm. And then the peace of God that passes all understanding shall keep our hearts and our minds. Yes. Well, when God's peace is in somebody mm -hmm. and then they're ministering the peace of God mm -hmm. through the airwaves and don't mind just singing because yeah. it's not entertaining mm -hmm. like some people think it is. Right. But as you said, you're ministering. Mm -hmm. So for our churches, please contact Sister Kathy Jones' KJM Ministries. And I want to say it right, uh, Pastor Ed Jones, they can preach, sing, she can preach, she can sing, she can do it all. From what I see, because she's licensed, ordained minister of the gospel, singer, songwriter, exalter, conference speaker, host, motivation speaker, a worship leader, all that. That's all in one kick poodle right there. And, and I will share this with you all. Um, I know that we are in an hour where everything that we think is F-R-E-E, but the laborer is worthy of his hire. So when you get them, please feel uh, that, that they're not just giving it out for the sake of giving it out, but they're doing as unto the Lord. And I want you to do them right as unto the Lord. I say this to all the uh, you know, preachers and teachers and everywhere, mm -hmm. and I've been fortunately blessed to know that sometimes people, well, if you go to a restaurant, you, you, you pay for your meal and you yes. tip the waiter. Yes. Try to give them a tip, mm -hmm. you know, and the tip ain't don't wear a paper hat in the rain. The tip is financial. Mm -hmm. You heard that. You know, another tip is don't cross the street without looking. <laughs> Nobody want that kind of tip. They want, <laughs> they want the right kind of tip. Y'all understand what I'm trying to I know they understand what I'm trying to say. So what we're trying to say is that they are ministering as unto the Lord, and the further them going down the road in ministry, mm -hmm. support the ministry, please. Yeah. That's one thing I do say. Support them. Help us help them get the message out to somebody that no matter where you are, he's there. And that there's no one like, like Jesus. Jesus. You know, because when he's the one, I, I'll say the last little bit, but when he's the lover of your heart and lover of your soul, people can feel it. They can tell it. Yeah. Tonight, we that are in here, we felt it. Oh, that's and that's a blessing from God because that's why we have old-time gospel here and Sister Martha Hood always tell me, Reverend Hammonds, we got this, these people here, and they're great. You got to be there, blah, 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 blah. And I just thank God that her words were truthful again. We got somebody that's good. Do me a favor. When it's air, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell somebody about Minister Kathy Jones. And again, as I said, her husband's Ed Jones. They're from Opelika, Alabama, and they don't mind ministering to Columbus, Georgia, and we need it. Uh, the need is great. We, you know, there's so many you. hurting people, yes. but yet, I, I'll say this, other hurt people can help hurt people. Yes. Other people who've gone through a trial mm -hmm. can give a testimony. Yes. And then we become a, a L-I-G-H-T, a light. Mm -hmm. And then Jesus said, we're the salt. Yes. So just by what you've gone through, when you can tell people, he's there in the midnight hour. Mm -hmm. He's the peace that passes all. I heard your songs. Mm -hmm. I heard the words. Well, we thank God. Thank you again. Anything else you want to say to anybody in any church in Opelika? Um, if you don't have my music or if you haven't uh, been around to uh, witness me ministering in song, I invite you to invite me. Pray. Amen. God. Say it. Yes, Amen. Lord. I invite you to invite them. Amen. And then you will hear him minister through them. Thank you again for tuning Amen. in to Old Time Gospel with Marcus Hammonds and Martha Hood. Sister Martha Hood, 
presents Old Time Gospel, and I'm just here just being one who's being fed and being led. So we thank you. May God bless you. Amen. Wherever you are, you're never too far that the arms of God are shortened concerning you. He will pick you up, pull you out, all because he cares. He's Jehovah Sharma. The Lord is there to pick you up, pull you out, just because he cares. He's there. Mm -hmm. No matter where you are, he's there. No matter where you are, he's there to pick you up, pull you out, all because he cares. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, no matter, he's there, yes he is. From the highest mountains, he's there. To the lowest valley, he's there to pick you up, pull you out, oh, because he cares, no matter where you are, no matter the situation you're in, no matter He's there, yes he is. In the midst of your storms, to the deepest sea, call on Jesus, there he'll be, never to leave you. Nor will he forsake you. He knows just how much you can bear. The Lord is your refuge. The Lord is your strength. A very present help. In times, in times of trouble, he will pick you up, pull you out, all because, all because he cares, no matter where you are, no matter where you are, no matter, makes no difference the situation, no matter, the Lord is there to pick you up, pull you out, for he knows, he knows just how much you can bear. He's there. He's there, said he never leave you, nor will he forsake you. He's there in the midst of your storms. He's there. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, no matter, the Lord is there. He'll pick you up. He'll pull you out. He's there. He's there. Hallelujah.
thank you once again for tuning in to Old Time Gospel Music with Sister Martha Hood and myself, Marcus Hammonds. We're so glad today, tonight, and in this ministry time when you're viewing it, that you get a chance to hear us as we talk to Minister Trey Hicks and Minister Jamari Gauthier. And I am just so impressed with these two men. And the only reason why I'm sitting up high is because they're both taller than me, they're younger, and I feel a little intimidated. So I said, let me get the high seat and make them have to look up at me because <laughs> it's just the opposite. They're cool, they're good looking, both of them are ministers. Now, now, now Minister Gauthier is 17 and Minister Hicks is 22. And both of them are going to be at the new Bethel AME Church on Highway 165. Is that what it's called? Bethel AME. Beth Bethel AME. Yes. Sir. But it's on what highway? Highway 165. Highway 165. Yes, Bethel AME, where the pastor is my friend, the Reverend Jesse Grooms. He and his beloved wife. I mean, they are some awesome oh, yes, people. Right, right. And and that's going to be good. That's Bethel AME, right? Yes, sir. Bethel AME, Jesse Grooms. Y'all going to be there in the Spring Revival. Yes, sir. These two men are going to be ministering. Now, you got to come out and be a part of that. On one night, one of them's going to be ministering. On another night, the other one's going to be ministering. And then they're going to bring in another guy who's going to be ministering in. And that is May the 29th, May the 30th, and the 31st. It's going to start around 7, yes, sir. 7 p.m.? Yes, sir. Okay, now, now I want to ask, who's going to be doing the first preaching? Well, I'll be opening it up. You're going to be opening it up. Yes. Minister, Minister Gauthier is going to be opening up. Have you already talked to the Lord about this revival? I've talked to him as soon as they gave me the engagement. Okay. <laughs> did he talk back to you? Did he say it's going to be all right? He did. He said... <laughs> He said he did, he did, he did. So he told you it's gonna be all right, right? Oh, yes, so so you want everybody to come out on the first night, right? I want them to come out all week. But the first night, right? You <laughs> do want night. them to hear the first night. Because the Lord did give you something fresh. He's giving it to me. He's all, exactly it's fresh, right? Yeah. Something new. Yeah. Something good. Yeah. Something excited. Yeah. So they, they gotta come out for that. And I know that, that that you being humble, but you want them to come out every night, but I know, just like here it is with, with, with you, then Trey going to be preaching on the next night, right? Mm -hmm. And you're praying that Trey going to be, oh, yeah. that, that the house going to be filled for you. Yes, sir. All right. Now, Trey, did, has the Lord spoke to you oh, about yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And what did he say? He, it's going to be good. Ah! <laughs> I get excited when I think about it. <laughs> what you say? You get, so both of y'all on fire. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Now, do y'all have a message for old folks like me? A uh, message for young folks like y'all, or what is it? Well, what he gives me is for everybody. He, Thank he, you. Yeah, he right. breaks it down to me to where my little four-year-old brother can understand it. So. God Almighty. You're 22 years old. Yes, sir. And then the Lord gave you a message. So if I come out, do you think I'll come back out and I'll be dressed up like you? Well, <laughs> with my ministry and the way that I with ministry. I come as you are, you know, you be yourself, be who God. So it don't make no difference how I dress. Yeah, uh, <laughs> see, he trying to mess with me. See, yeah, look, it, it you know, see, I asked him, would I be changed like him? But no. I be, but he trying to tell me that, 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 that the message is so good. It ain't my outward. It's you. It's, it's the inward, huh? It's the inward, so he going to give me something that, that oh, yeah. I'm going to be a better me, but I ain't got to look no better. Well, you're going to look better because you're going to feel better. <laughs> <laughs> feel better. Yes, sir. All right, Jamar, what you got to say? What you got to say? Same song? Say it again. Now. Is, are you going to be saying the same thing? Oh well. We, How know. about if if you preach and I get to wear glasses and I look smarter? Uh -oh. <laughs> well, you know, it's not about like Trey said about the outward appearance because the outward appearance can change anytime. But as long as your inner man has been fed. Yes, that's all okay, that's so both of y'all are going to be doing, giving a spiritual smorgasbord or, or what do they call buffet. Oh, yes. Yeah. Spiritual buffet. Yeah, then it's so, all you can eat. All you can eat. Yes. All you can eat. So so uh, what will y'all be feeding? The word. The, the word. word. Yeah. Is that Matthew 4 and 4? Man shall not live by bread alone, bread alone yeah. but by every word yes, that proceed out the mouth of God. So y'all going to be giving us the word. Yes, sir. If y'all don't mind in this interview, I want to say something to you. 
I believe that in this hour that God is calling young men mm -hmm. who are on fire, and y'all are on fire, because Acts says in the book of Acts, y'all know, in the last day, said the Lord, I'm going to pour out my spirit on yeah. all, all flesh. flesh. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah. Young men going to see visions. Old men going to dream dreams upon my servants, upon my handmaidens. I'll pour out of my spirit in that last day, right? Mm -hmm. So do y'all feel like what you got is fresh, or do you think that it's stale and old? Oh, fresh. Yeah, it's, it's fresh. fresh. It's fresh. Yes. So God did a fresh thing. Yes, sir. So y'all both got fresh fire? Yes. But now you have to understand that there's a difference in being fresh and being new. Woo! Okay, now help me with it. Help me with it. Because we're still going to preach the same word, and we're going to use the same thing that brought grandmama and granddaddy through. All right, yeah, yeah. You, you better look at them and tell oh. them. So, so you're going to be preaching. Tell them. Say, we're, we're not. You know, most people, when they see the young preachers, they automatically think that we're catering to just the younger crowd. But we're using nothing but the word, and if the word can bring grandmama and granddaddy through, it can bring us through as well. Yes. Go ahead, Trey. What you got to say? I heard that. And, and like you said, we're using the the word doesn't change. We're just put God. What God does, He gives you a new way of looking at things, yeah. a way that you can reach the older crowd, but I can still reach the younger generation. And the reason I feel like He called us so young is because that this is a new changing generation it's a generation like no other mm -hmm. and i feel like that i can ex i have experienced something that people my age have experienced mm -hmm. and i can tell them that no matter what we're going through we it's the same god who brought grandma and granddad wow over. and he can do, meet us where we do, are do, 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 do y'all understand that a lot of times people want to throw out grandma and grandpa right yeah they don't want to include their gospel message because they're so targeted Oh, we young. But I like it that y'all are like me. When I got saved, I was 16, 17 years old off in college. And everybody wanted me to be what they call a youth minister. But God gave me such a magnitude in the word that I, I wasn't really targeting the young. I was targeting everybody. Hmm. Am I making sense? Yes, sir. Yeah. Or that, does that sound kind of like y'all? Right. Because right. uh, like, like, both of y'all said something too dynamic that the same God, and I'm saying this to our, our old-time gospel audience now, if you heard anything they just said, the same God that, that they're preaching about is the same God that can deliver them, but he's the same God that delivered grandma and grandpa, and he's still doing mighty things. Oh, yes, sir. He's, he's yet alive. Yeah, man. through somebody who's not ashamed. Right. Y'all are not ashamed, but go ahead and tell it, right? Right. Right, all. right. okay. So, so, again... This revival is May 29th, mm -hmm. 30th, 30th, and the 31st. Now, who's going to be speaking on the 31st? Pastor Quay Tucker, who's the pastor of Mount Calvary Baptist Church in Moreland, Georgia. He's Moreland, saying, Georgia. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and how old is he? He's 17 years old. Sir. Just like you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just like you? Yes, sir. Now, can, can, can I ask this, because I know the answer. But are you one-dimensional? Now, what do you mean by one-dimensional? Can you only do one thing? Oh, well, no. What else do you do? Whatever the Lord has us to do. So, <laughs> so you're gifted in preaching? Singing. Singing? Yes, sir. What else? Well, I'm, I'm a musician as well. Musician? Yes. Wow. What else? Well, oh. Uh... I'm a people person. I love motivational yeah, person. Yeah. You motivate yeah, people. Sir. So, so y'all are not one dimensional. Oh, no, sir. Sometimes they, they, we think that preachers can only do one, one thing. thing. Right. Oh no, you know. Uh, uh, did I strike a chord there? Because you both, both y'all shook your heads. Say, oh no. Yeah, y'all can do way more than oh, one yes, thing, right? Yes. Sir. And you can reach people where they are. That's the most important thing, you know, going outside of the four walls of the church and getting people to Christ. Wow. So. Uh, am I free to say that you all think that young people need Jesus? Oh, oh yes. Everyone yes. needs him. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we need him more than ever now, you know, right. with the vast changes of the world, how it's, it's so much that could distract us. Yeah. I want to say this, and, and I know our audience is listening, but we've seen something in this generation I've never seen. I've not seen the suicide rate as high amongst youth. 
the killings among youth, the drugs among youth. So it tells me that in our information high-tech society, that's bullying, you know, there's some degree, in, uh, and when I say bullying, character assassination, thinking that judging you on the outward appearance, mm -hmm. but not knowing that something greater is on the inside. Am I, am, am I close to right with y'all? Mm -hmm. yes, and sir. I see your hands up. You got, oh, no, yeah, no. I thought you were about to, because I hope y'all are feeling what, because see, I, I teased y'all a minute ago, I can't preach in tennis shoes. <laughs> but yet I can, right? Because I can be out there on the basketball court and be preaching, right? Yes, sir. You got to carry the word with you right. wherever you go. <sighs> now you, the Holy Spirit, he resides with you no always. matter where, where you, you are. are. Right. Yeah. And regardless of what age. Right. So y'all guys can minister to people. Okay, because uh, look at it. I mean, when I start talking to them, they say, well, you old school. And they're going to judge me by my age <laughs> and say, you 60 years old, and I can't relate to you. But then when they look at you guys, and you're 22, and then you're 17, and you can be on, I can, I'm not good at a computer. Are y'all good at a computer laptop? I love technology. Man. See, uh, <laughs> okay, he loves technology. How about you? I like it as well. Same thing. Yes. Okay, so y'all can relate to Twitter? Yeah, of course. I can relate to Twitter. <laughs> but you know how to, you, 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 you don't know how to tweet? You don't know how to FaceTime. You don't I know how to FaceTime. What else you know how to do? I'm just asking. <laughs> Snapchat. Snapchat. See, I don't even know. All right, keep on. <laughs> Facebook. Fa okay. I know you got Facebook. Yeah, I got Facebook. Uh, yeah. Got I, okay. What about yeah. MySpace? Who? I mean, no. <laughs> you got no, MySpace? No, I ain't got MySpace. <laughs> I know I got <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all being funny now. See what I'm talking about. No, so, so you try to tell me how old I am if I have MySpace. All right, but no, but see, see, that's what I like about y'all because y'all are young and you can relate to young people. Yes, sir. Snapchat, okay. I know what Duo is on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So this is super funny here. See what I'm trying to say? Now y'all see where I am and That's where y'all right. are. Uh -huh. But you're able to reach people I can't reach. You, well, you that, feeling that, me? That's the beauty of God. Ain't that God calling who each of us individually? And and and, and 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 I want to say this to you all. This is how good God is. That. As the generations change, he puts a Joshua in there. Yeah. He put a new, you know, uh, that tears down them walls of Jericho that have been built up. Because I can't permeate. I can't, I can't get through them to some people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like I just, he just asked me about my space. And, and I said, duo. And did you see him nearly fall out the chair over here? He just cracking up laughing and saying, okay, you real old school. But you see what I'm saying? Yes, you can get on the computer and, and, and throw up a video or something. And then people are going to look at it and they're going to see Jesus in it. Right. Okay, I would struggle at trying to know the new methods of reaching people. Mm -hmm. But if I have y'all on my side. Yeah, it's a Christian is a teamwork. You know, we got to work Didn't together. Didn't you yeah. feel what I just yes, said? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now you see. See, that's why God keeps calling in new folks. Yeah. And, and he's not putting you on a lesser level. Because right. the scripture says he hired men from the first hour all the way down to the last hour of the day. And he said, I'll give you a penny a day. Some people got mad. I know y'all know the word. Because the guy at 11 hours said, wait a minute. Uh, 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 okay, I've only worked one hour. You know, I, I need to get my pay. I get a penny. But the guy at the first hour said, wait a minute. I work from the first hour. And all I'm getting a penny, he got. And then, you know what the Bible says? that It said the governor said, didn't I make an agreement with you that whatever is right, I'll pay? So, you know, what y'all are doing is reaching people in this hour. Mm -hmm. I've been struggling at it for more than 30 years. But you know what? The same pay I get, you get. Right. So the Lord, ain't, he's not shortchanging y'all. Oh, no, of course not. Because of youth or length of time. You know what he's saying? If I could use him, I can use y'all. Right. And he can use y'all better because my ceiling, my highest height ought to be your floor. You feel me? Yes, sir. The, the higher that I've got, and the more I think, instead of me getting up here thinking that I'm the only one who can drive this team of horses, why can't I let y'all two guys lead the team? Right. And I sit back and enjoy the ride and say, look at God. Look at God using young men. Look at God bless our church. Look at God. And I think that y'all guys sound qualified because you're already ready, and you ain't on my space. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> he tried, yeah, this tomorrow go crack on me like that, okay? But now, and I, and that's a good part. I know our audience will see one that y'all are real, two that y'all don't mind laughing. Oh, you, oh, you're yeah. not so spiritual that you know earthly good. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, uh, I, uh, yeah, yeah am I, I still like to enjoy life and have fun, and you know that was the biggest thing for me when God called me at the age of twenty-one. Yeah. I thought, well, I'm gonna be a preacher. That's all my fun. But hey, it's it's gotten better. You know? Yeah, it got better. It, it, it's it's better. abundant life, ain't it? It, it is. It's abundant. Right. It, 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 and, 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 and don't make your life boring. So it, you did, did you have to give up your Xbox for Jesus? No. You no, have to no, give. Up. I still. I you still, still Xbox. Enjoy life. Uh, 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 what's the other one? PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah. All right. I I know. I'm just trying to make sure that, that <laughs> they won't leave him in the dark. Yeah. Oh. He don't know what they are. <laughs> In my space. Okay, yeah, I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. But you felt me. Now, y'all still have fun. Oh, no, cool. yeah. You still have friends. Right. They still relate to y'all. Right. And they know you've been changed. Right. Okay. And the good thing about being changed is that when you be changed, your mindset changed. So yeah. the things that you used to like, you don't like no more. Mm. But when you have a mind for Jesus and you're determined to live for him, you have a zeal to do what he wants you to do. And that's where you get your fun and your enjoyment. Right. Wow, when you see God using you to bless somebody else. Oh, right. that, that's the that's, best feeling. Right. After you get done with a sermon, I have kids coming up to me. Oh, my God, I love that. Then I have older people. Mamas and, and daddies yeah, and, in the Lord. And, you know, they tell me that message was just for me. That's right. the best. That You know, how you get a check from preaching, that's good. But what I like, to, the best thing, the best reward for me is somebody telling me that really touched me. Right. Because I understand that what God is doing in my life and what he's speaking to me is relevant. Yes. And is moving in people's lives. Y'all become ministers. Wow. Of his glory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, again, I want to invite everybody out to Bethel AME on Highway 165. Five. Okay. I want to make sure I get that highway right. <laughs> highway 165. And the pastor is Reverend Jesse Grooms. Yes. And his wife is Sister Amanda Grooms. Right. They are some of the sweetest people. Oh, yes, oh yes. now we've been friends for a long time. So I'm just trying to say to everybody, you got to come out to Bethel AME on May 29th, May 30th, and May 31st. You're going to hear Minister Trey Hicks, and you're going to hear Minister Jamari Goche. And Jamari is going to be preaching on the 29th. Trey is going to be preaching on the 30th. And then I forgot the preacher's name for Moreland, <laughs> who's 17 years old, who's going to be preaching. What's his name again? Pastor Tucker. Pastor Tucker. Pastor Tucker going to be preaching then. So, you, you know, we're going to have an impact. We want to invite everybody, old and young, to hear these great men of God that God is raising up in our area who are on fire for Jesus. And that's what we need. If ever we needed somebody on fire for Jesus that our children could relate to, and see the light and the fire in them. Please come out. Please be a part of it. We thank y'all again for being here with us at Old Time Gospel with Sister Martha Hood and myself, Marcus Hammonds. It's indeed our honor. We got to get y'all back. I want y'all to come play, sing, do something. You know, I know tonight we're just doing an interview. Yes, sir. You know, today is an interview. But soon y'all got to come back on here and minister. Yes, sir minister, you know, and, and then y'all can show them that you're not one-dimensional. Yes, sir. Amen, because even a motivated word. Let's have a quick word of prayer. Let's join in. Father, we pray for the revival. We pray, God, that your peace will be, Lord, with Trey and Jamari. Yes, Lord, Lord, these are your ministers. These yes, are Lord. your men, Lord. These are yours. Lord, bless them and bless their family. Bless the Hicks yes. family, the Gaucher family. Lord, bless the Tucker family. Lord, bless Pastor Grooms. Lord, Sister Martha Hood, myself as well. Bless our families, our communities. Let these young men inspire other men and women to be used by you in this hour, yes. Lord. Whether they be old or whether they be old or young, use them for the furtherance of your gospel. We carefully give you thanks. We carefully give you praise. We carefully give you glory. Bless these hands that I hold. Yes, Strengthen Lord. them in yes. every way. Put your word in them so good, Lord, that every time that they speak, Lord, that it just gets better, yes, better, and Lord. better. And we'll be careful to give you all the glory, praise, and honor. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you again for tuning in to Old Time Gospel with Sister Martha Hood and myself, Marcus Hammers. May God bless you. We love you.